random raid members will get a white circle around them. This is a silencing circle that you don't want to drop on the raid. Now KT will cast Soul Fracture on the tank. The other tank should taunt. When Soul Fracture happens, three images of the tank will appear around the room that need to immediately die and also be interrupted. You can use the Oblivion Echo white circles to silence these ads. When these NPCs die, the tank who had Soul Fracture on them has to run through the dead bodies of the ads or you die. There will be frostbound devoted ads that spawn and fixate players. Don't let them reach you, and honestly, they should just be dragged through the boss and cleaved down. Random raid members will get affected by glacial wrath and spawn a glacial spike after a few seconds. This spike has health and will lose 5% HP every 2 seconds. Once it dies, it does a moderate amount of raid wide damage. At the start, there will be one spike, and through the fight, there will be more that spawn at the same time. You want to stagger killing the spikes, especially on heroic, where killing one will leave a 10 second dot on the raid. A random raid member will get a frost blast. It should be soaked to split damage and everyone hit will get rooted for 10 seconds. This is a magic effect that can be dispelled. The soak can also be immune. When the boss reaches 100 energy, there will be ice circles that appear around the room that grow in size. Everyone should find a safe spot, and then when KT dies, it's phase 2. You want half of your raid, no tanks, and one or two heals depending on raid size, and mostly melee, to go into the flactory room by running up to the giant green glowing thing and pressing your extra action button. While in the flactory room, you'll DPS the remnants of KT while dodging the swirls on the ground and the frontal cone by him. In the main room, there will be two Abomination adds, which need to be tanked, and two Banshee adds. The Banshee adds need to be interrupted and killed first, then focus the Abomination adds while dodging the green swirls. When the remnant of KT reaches 60% health, he becomes immune, and the Phylactery peeps need to run to the green swirl thing and use your extraction button to leave. You then redo phase 1. Keep in mind there will be more devoted adds and glacial spikes. When KT dies again, you do phase 2 again. Phase 2 ends when the remnant of KT reaches 20% health. On Heroic, when the remnant of KT reaches 33% health, the Flactory Room fills with tornadoes quickly. Then you do Phase 1 again with more stuff than before. When KT dies again, you do Phase 2 for a third time. When the remnant of KT dies, you go into Phase 3. This is where you should Hero or Bloodlust. KT will start resing adds and the room will start filling up with ice. Kill them before you run out of room. Also throughout the fight, if anyone dies, they'll be resurrected, mind controlled, and they need to immediately be killed. 